This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson project Make a Game. Let's see. Define your functions. Define all of your functions at the bottom of your program. Under the comment, create your functions here. Right now, we're only worrying about writing the function definitions. That part of the code looks like, yeah, things my function does. Right. Not the calls. Not where we ask the computer to run our functions. So, I'm going to start making mine. Let's close that up. Um, oops. Move controller. I need a parameter, right? That thing that's a variable that I can use when I call the function. And this was just going to be the direction. Okay, so move the controller and then the direction would go here. And then I have a few options. If I make this direction be a negative number, I'll show you what I mean actually. But um, so move the controller and then There's a few ways to do this. You might want to use an if statement. I could do it like this. If, uh, and then whatever direction. So maybe I'm going to make direction equal R and L. So the parameters will be R and L when I call them. So if direction is equal to R, what I would want to do, which means it's going to the right, well, does X increase or does it decrease as it's going to the right? It looks like X is getting bigger. So then what I would want to do here is be doing this. Set property ID. What property do I want to set? Well, I want to set the controller. What did I call that? Oh my goodness, did I leave it as image one? Let's pretend like this didn't happen. So I want to set the controller. Oops. I want to set the controller as x now to what? Well, I want it to be whatever it was before, but I'm adding like 1 to it. So uh, what do I want to set the x to? I would want to set it to something like, I can create a variable up here. I would do controller inside of that, but here, variable. Um, Ah, that's not the best way to do it. I should do it in here. So if I was going to do it like this, um, variable x will be equal to whatever I want to get controller x. So whatever the controller's x value used to be, plus whatever I want, maybe 5. And so now this variable x is going to be set to be equal to whatever the controller, get the controller's property x and add 5. That's what our variable x is. The old controller, the controller's x value plus 5 is what x is going to be equal to. So now I say, okay, now set the controller property of x to x. So you get and set. And then I would do this down here because else, so I'll only run this when the buttons are being pressed, else I'll, I could use an else, if it's not R, it must be L, I would subtract from X because it's going to the left. This is one way that would work for this. Now I know that I can do it another way, and that's what I'm going to show you now. This if statement is totally fine, but in an effort to be more simple, oh, it's not going to, ugh. Okay, I want to delete the if without getting rid of everything. I'm just going to switch to text mode super fast and get rid of that. Great. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take direction. And I still need to get property, but I'm going to have direction always be an integer. 
right? So always be plus one or minus one. So my parameter when I call this is always going to be plus one or minus one. So instead, I'm going to say uh, maybe change, right? So change in X. So now I'm going to do, hey, let's get set the property of controller to X. And what's that going to be equal to? Well, that's going to be equal to what controller X used to be equal to plus change. And now I don't need an if because I'm going to have the parameter either there will be a negative one or positive one because I'm going to call it depending on whether the right button is pressed or the left button. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so that's going to be the movement function and then we want the win function so win maybe check win okay and what this is going to do how will I know if it wins? Well, if X is less than zero, the controller must be over here. I know though that the X and Y value are at the top corner of an image. So if I want to do less than zero, that's fine, but that would be when it's barely at the edge. We can test it some. I'm going to say if uh, let's get the X value again of the controller. x and I'm going to set that equal to our variable x so if x is I'm going to say less than since x is over here I'm going to say less than like 50 so at least some of the controller will be off this screen if x is less than 50 I would want to go to the game screen okay now I could use a second uh, if or I can use this else statement and that's what I'm going to use is the else statement so if it's less than 50 do this if x is, it goes to 230. So I'm going to add, oh, ooh, I meant negative 50, because then it will actually be off the screen. If it goes to 230, I don't want to say, or 220, I don't want to say 220, because then this is the corner that would have to be all the way over. So I'm going to subtract 50 from that. Instead of doing 0, I subtract 50. Instead of doing 320, I'm going to subtract 50. Let's try 270. So if x is greater than 270, well, then the right person won. So now, what should happen? We could play a sound. I can set the property. Um, no, I want to set screen to gain, uh, win screen. Set screen, win screen. Okay, and then, but before I do that, I want to set text. Set property. And what do I want to set? Player. Because I named that ID, I ID'd this player. Player's text is going to be equal to, and this is something I get to pick. Um, I'll just say left. I know, deeply creative, right? So, because if it is x is less than 50, our controller is over here, the left side one. Now, I'm going to be a bit lazy and use text mode real quick, and I'm just going to copy Control C or uh, Command C if you're on a Mac. And then I'm just going to, oops, I copied the wrong thing. And then paste it. And now instead of saying left, I'm going to say right. Okay, so if that happens, check win. Um, and we'll be running this uh, each time the button's pressed. But if someone has won, we're going to switch screens. Otherwise, we'll do nothing. So, and I'll walk through these more as we start building them out. But I think that's all the functions I'm going to need.
Yep, awesome. Let's keep going. But uh.